It's Tuesday afternoon. I had a late night again of friggin' Minecrafting. Came home, jumped on the computer, bad move. Got to bed super late. Welcome to my vlog. Yeah, I got some videos to look over and edit for the uh, Chuchin SMP site. We uh, had a little bit of fun on there last night. We we're being dinks and <laughs> we, both Logan and I kind of, we were looking for somebody to troll and one of the players on Minecraft was like, oh, I know where the admin's house is and we're like right on. So we kind of went to the admin's house and threw a whole bunch of eggs in there and hatched about 20,000 chickens in his house and because he does it to us all the time. Like, I'm sitting there playing Minecraft yesterday, and my computer usually doesn't lag. I'm sitting there, and I'm, I'm lagging really bad, but I was underground, I'm like, what the hell's going on? I go up above, there's like 50,000 chickens in Castle Awesome Sauce. I'm like, what the hell? So I kill them all. Sure, I got a lot of meat now, but, uh, oh, freak. Why so many chickens? <laughs> it's freaking hilarious, but I was like, oh, come on, man. So, because he did the same thing to Logie, we both had about 50,000 eggs on us. And we just kind of went over to the admin test, because now we know where it is. And we just egg the living shit out of it. That'll learn them. That'll learn them big time. Anywho, I need to get ready for work and stuff. So I also desperately need a shower. I'm going to head her inside and do that now. So talk to you guys later. Well, it's that time. I'm all cleaned up. And now i got to go to work. <sighs> Can't believe it's winter. Doesn't look like winter one bit. This is dicked. Anyway, I'm going to jump in the car, start it up, and get out of here. It is doing this. Alrighty, off to work. Uh, I'm gonna stop off at the subway and get myself a sandwich because, well, didn't really have time to make a sandwich. So I'm gonna get some subways and all that stuff. Yeah, like I said, I was up pretty late last night playing Minecraft. Logie was on and Martin was on and no, uh, Daddy Tech was on, but he. He basically video bombed us, that bastard. I'm trying to do a video about this crazy pitfall the guy's built. You go from the top level of Mountain City to uh, the bottom level, and you literally sit on a trap door. You pull the switch, trap door opens, and you friggin' fall. And if you don't land it right, you could die. <laughs> it's friggin' awesome. It's like the total daredevil, friggin' the passageway. It's pretty cool. Don't do a rolling stop, you goof. There we go. So, yeah, so. And when you watch that video, you're gonna laugh because I'm all like, shut up, Daddy Tech, shut up, Daddy Tech, why are you talking? And I'm like, just totally, just burning him. You can't even understand what he's saying because I'm just overpowering him and stuff. It's funny. I gotta edit all those up. Yeah, we did a couple videos last night of Logie and Skaven go adventuring. Uh, we went and checked out the Mountain City, played a prank on the server admin, and we also, uh, what the frig else did we do? Oh yeah, we had to go hunt down pigs because when we were making Kentucky Fried Chicken, we accidentally made Kentucky Fried sorry, not Kentucky Fried Chicken, Logie Fried Chicken, because Logie was frying them. Uh, and we accidentally sort of uh, caught a couple of our pigs on fire and they died too, so we needed pigs because uh, this guy right here has three saddles in his inventory. And apparently if you uh, give a pig enough wheat, you can slap a saddle on his back and take him for a spin. So that's pretty kick-ass. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to friggin' saddle up some pigs and ride off into the sunset, you know, the old western style. Oh, frig, man. i got to start going to bed at a more decent hour. But yeah, basically, because I only use my DSL connection for a downloader uploader, what I did was I took my old gateway netbook and friggin' stoved it directly into the, uh, the DSL connection. And then I just basically set up the DSL just to upload. So what I do is I just copy the files to a pen drive and stab them in my, uh, my netbook and then just upload them to YouTube and that leaves my other internet connection wide open for playing Minecraft and stuff. So uh, I've been using the quad core to play Minecraft and it's been doing pretty good. It, it holds its own. Needs a new video card though. Those 4850s are pretty much cooked. 
Yeah, those video cards have seen better days. They're they're hurting. Like you're just sitting there on the computer watching YouTube and all of a sudden the video just freezes right up and the monitor turns off or gets no signal because the video card powered down because the core got too hot. Now I'm running ATI tool and I've underclocked the uh, the cores on the uh, underclocked the cores on, on the video cards, trying to help with cooling them because you know right now I can't really afford to go out and buy a new video card. But when I can't afford it, I'm gonna buy some uh, Nvidia's because that board is Nvidia chipset, not AMD chipset. So maybe if I run what's required in there, I might get a little bit more oomph out of the machine. I don't need a real expensive card, I just need something that can play Minecraft. Oh hey guys, as you know I haven't been in the videos much lately. And well I told Adam I didn't want to be in the videos if he doesn't buy me any more cookies. And well, I kind of changed my mind, but he's taking it serious and he won't let me come back in the videos. So can you guys just tell him to let me back in the videos? Because he'll listen to you, he doesn't want to listen to me. And maybe even tell him to buy me more kitty treats because uh, I kind of like kitty treats. Okay, back to the vlog. You guys go have fun. And I was browsing around and I can get a, a TI 560 or a NVIDIA 560 for like 170 bucks. So I'm thinking about going that route and that'll give that machine a little bit more power. I think that diesel's noisy. Oh man, I'm like super friggin' groggy. I went to bed at like 8 o'clock in the friggin' morning, woke up at 2. Yeah, that gives me 6 hours of sleep, but I gotta friggin' quit doing this. Well, yeah, the girlfriend's got an interview on Friday, so that's awesome. She might soon have a job. Start making some Skrilla. Oh, for freak's sakes, I need to get over. All oh, right, on. This Honda's gonna give me my way. If this Toyota would pick up some friggin' speed and do more than 40, for freak's sakes. Not gonna make it. No, not gonna make it. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna grab me a subway and some other stuffs and then head her off into work. And then tomorrow I'll make a lunch and the same for the rest of the week. I'm gonna have to go pick up smokes tomorrow too because I only got a pack and a half left and I friggin' need my cigarettes. I know you're all like, no, you gotta quit smoking, you gotta quit. And I'm like, meh, And then you're like, shmoo la 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 And I'm like, shmoo la 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 You know how it is. That's usually how conversations go, am I right? Shmoo la la la, shmoo la la la. I'm probably wrong on that one, but whatevs. Okay, I'm just gonna turn here into the friggin' oh, bouncy mic smart after this uh, pedestrian GTFOs and then uh, go buy me a sandwich. Oh, okay. I'll just put my car beside this Chevrolet. Chevrolet, you suck so much. I hate you guys. Wish friggin' die. I just hate our Chevrolet, our, our friggin' company here in town, but. That's just me. Anyway, sandwich time. Right back. All right, got my cold cut trio or whatever the frig you want to call it, assorted sub, whatever. And uh, got my uh, my drink. I cashed in some points for this one, boys. This sub cost me nothing. This one was free. The next one will be free too. Might as well cash in the points, seeing how they're shutting the program down. Maybe they're just shutting it down in Canada because a lot of people said that they went to their subways and couldn't find any any sayings about that, but it's like right on the sneeze guard on the freaking counter overhanging the cold cuts and cheese. It says our reward program, or as of December 31st, will no longer be giving you points for the reward program. However, you can still redeem your points up to March 31st, and then they're going to just cut up all the cards and be done with it. But I laughed, yeah, I ordered my sub, paid for it, and go through the whole friggin' rigmarole of the thing and uh, this kid walks in and he, and Buddy's like, okay, uh, how can I help you? What kind of sub do you want? And Buddy's response, surprised me. So he's like, no, 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 for real, like, what do you want? What kind of sandwich do you want? Like, no, 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 just, just, just give her, just go for it, make whatever you want. Like, are you, are you serious? Make whatever you want. So if this guy's in a bad mood, you're getting a jalapeno and friggin', friggin' habanero pepper sub. 
with like cactus sauce on it that's gonna burn your friggin eyeballs off your face and if he's having a good day you're getting 15 stacks of meat that's like uh, so he basically is just was told to surprise the kid and give her like this sub shop right here mr. sub uh, we used to always go there to get sandwiches because just a uh, hop skip and a jump from work and the lady was leaving there she was going on to bigger and better things and the one night I went in and uh, I'm like yeah can I get a uh, double cold cut uh, sandwich and she's like you know what I don't give a shit come behind the counter and make it yourself I'm like what she, yeah come behind the counter and make it yourself you can put as much as much as you want on there I don't care they can't fire me I'm quitting Holy shit, the, the, the cold cuts on that thing were thicker than the bread, okay? Like, I just, just friggin' grab a handful of ham and turkey and shit and just started stoving it on the friggin' sub. Just loaded it right up. I could only eat half that sub. I had to bring the other half home to eat the next day. It was like just a massive meat sandwich. It was so amazing. Oh, no parking. Oh, well, I'll just put it over here, I guess. This will work. This will work just fine. Alrighty, we're at work, so I'll uh, talk to you guys in my break, but yeah, good times at the sandwich shop. See you guys later. So it's 5.30 break time, just came out for a sagrit. Ate my sub, it was awesome. Freaking awesome for sure. I should be good now until midnight. Found out that I missed two episodes of Grimm. That kind of pissed me off, so I went and downloaded them and I'm watching them now. And uh, yeah, good times, good times. I thought Grimm was done for the season because like Supernatural stopped and, and Big Bang Theory stopped for this for the winter season. Probably start back up late January again. They always do that. Eh? They take the winter off for Christmas vacation and stuff. And then they get back at or come come early January and start pumping out episodes later January and all that. So I thought Grimm was doing the same thing and it ends up they just took a little bit of a two week break to do whatever they're doing. Two more episodes. Girlfriend found out last night when she went to ctv.ca and saw that there's two episodes that we missed, so she already watched them. I'm watching them now. Uh, it's been a pretty slow night, so that's all right. I dig it. I don't even need a shovel to dig it. True. All in all, it's been a pretty good day. I know a lot of you guys are mad because Felix hasn't been in the vlog lately, but Frig, man, he's, he's so mad because I won't buy him more treats because he killed that bag off so quick that I just don't want to buy him more treats because he eats them too fast. Like, now that he figured out how to open the cupboard door and go up and get treats, it's just it's ridiculous. So, oh, I'm going to have to hide his treats somewhere else. I'm going to have to put them behind lock and key, I guess. Freaking cat. But anywho, just came out for a quick cigarette. I'm going to smoke this, head her back inside, carry on with the night. I'll talk to you guys on lunch break. Ice. Right, well, it's 8 o'clock lunch time and <sighs> we ran out of water upstairs in our Culligan and in a building this friggin old you don't drink the tap water that's for sure. God knows how old those copper pipes are. Probably get friggin lime poisoning or some friggin thing. But uh, that and the water tastes funny out of the taps here. Not like at home but I got a fresh copper job on the house so. Oh friggin Culligan's out of water. I got no drink here. I might have to boil up some water and have some coffee or tea or something because uh, I'm thirsty I don't want to go to the store and pay over price for a friggin popper of water there and the problem is that the Culligan water is stored all down in the customer service area and it's locked out and I don't have uh, security access to get in there which sucks I don't have the security clearance sounds all CIA and shit eh well they said it was supposed to snow today yeah as you can tell kind of sort of didn't it's not really doing too much right now it's not really cold out it's not really warm out the weather's just dick this is the weirdest winter ever like maybe I did all that work to the snowblower for nothing I guess January is the only way to tell I did the math and January 23rd I believe is day 365 I could be wrong on that math but I'm pretty damn sure I'm right so <clears throat> boosh so that's day 365, and I'm um, hoping to have a special treat for that day of just messed up stuff. Friggin' Ray, Ray Jumps Babies, I think that's his name on YouTube, uh, keeps calling my vlog Deckard, but I found out he means it in a good way, so that's a bonus. And uh, he thinks it's Deckard now, wait till day 365 when I post that video. Holy shit, he's gonna be like, what in the frig? Like, uh, literally guys, what I'm gonna post is going to be the biggest embarrassment to me. I'm going to put myself like right out there. It's going to be so embarrassing for me that uh, 
I just don't care, right? Because you guys will get a wicked laugh out of it. And uh, it's all childhood videos. My, my uncle brought, well, I mentioned it when the family was down and we were hanging out in my parents' basement. And uh, I mentioned uh, the new kids on the block thing, right? And then uh, I mentioned that uh, my uncle used to bring his old JVC uh, friggin' tape camcorder down. It ran off these like little mini tapes, probably Hi 8s or mini DVs or whatever the frig they were back then. God, that was back in 1980 something. Like we were young. And I got gas. And, uh, oh, we, me and my brother used to do like home videos with the stupid thing. And, uh, oh, it was brutal. Like, I'm like, I think I was like eight years old or something. And, Oh, I said it's just funny videos, so I gotta wait and see exactly what we're getting back out of this. My cousin has the uh, master copy of the VHS, and she's converting it into DVD through her Mac, her Macintosh. I told Dad I could have done it with the Easy Cap, but he didn't trust me. He thought I was gonna burn the tape. Meanwhile, I actually want the footage. And uh, yeah, just imagine a friggin' eight-year-old with a camcorder. Imagine the kind of videos I made back then, eh? Now, obviously, the quality is not gonna be like this. It's gonna be like grainy as shit, like 240p. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm sure it'll get a, get a good laugh and I'm hoping to have it by then so that I can really friggin' screw myself over and embarrass myself on, on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Because if you can't make fun of yourself, who can you make fun of, right? Exactly. Well, anyway, I'm going to head her back inside, guys. And uh, I guess I'll be talking to you guys at 1030 when uh, I come up for my last break. So, talk to you later. Freak, yeah, freedom. Oh, let's go home. It's midnight. It's actually way after midnight. I had to pinch a wicked dump again. I haven't been feeling good lately, guys. Probably due to the sleeping habits that I've been holding up. Courtesy of friggin' Minecraft. Oh, man. Gotta quit playing. Gotta start doing other things. Not sure what the hell's going on right now, but I heard that out west they're getting dumped on hard in Cold Lake, Alberta. So, guess we'll have to see. Just gonna crack open the locks of the door. Throw my computer in the back seat, like so. I could probably pitch that computer back there and nothing would happen. It's got a friggin' solid state driving it. Alrighty. Okay, we're in the friggin' car now. Right on. It's the on lights. Friggin' thing. Alrighty, so uh, temperature gauge hasn't moved because I just recently started the car. It's not a big deal. But uh, I'm gonna head her home and uh, I guess I'll videotape with the flip. Alright, let's do this. Alrighty, uh, so friggin' uh, that was my One Pug Life intro, everybody. That was my uh, One Pug Life intro. You ever notice how every single one of his videos, they usually start like that? So friggin', uh... <laughs> it's funny. I'm gonna have to do a video compilation. Just grab like 30 of his videos and do the so friggin' uh rap. Do, do like a dubstep mix. So friggin' uh 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 Blah blah digga digga blah 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 digga digga blah 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 So friggin' uh 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 you know? Oh, uh, he'd probably friggin' drive up to North Bay and punch me in my face for making fun of him. You know, like, no, 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 bro, I'm, I'm trying to help you. Holy shit, check out this thing, guys. Look at the height. Oh my god, that thing's massive. I don't know what the hell kind of, I think it's an Explorer. I don't even know what the frig that was, but it was huge. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna go straight. I have a plan. It's not gonna work, but I have a plan. Oh, freak sakes. So apparently in the comments, can't remember who said it, but people are like, gotta quit talking about Minecraft so much. Well, unfortunately that's what's hot in my life right now is Minecraft. I've been playing the friggin' ball bag off of it. But I will admit, I'm starting to get a little bored of it. You know, Tyler mentioned it, mentioned a little something a while back, like he wanted to do a series, kind of like uh, Haxer Uber Nova there, or Uber Haxer Nova, I can't remember how, it's one of those two names. And they have a web series on Minecraft going called uh, The Treehouse, and I think they have a couple other ones going, but uh, that's what I wanted to do for videos. None of these little short clips of us just farting around with, with contraptions and junk. Let's actually do a real web series where we start off on a bear island, or whatever, and, and build it up, and then we'll put it up like, you know, a series. And he says, like, well, we should do a survival island. And I was all for that. I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And we still haven't done it. And I'm like, Frank, I really want to do that. Because that would be actually kind of fun to fraps, you know? That's why the, the, the whole Logie and Skaven go caving. That's going to be fun to do. 
because Logan and I together on the mic, well, you guys are going to see a couple videos going on Chuchet SMP, you know, if I actually target the right friggin' site this time. I went to go and upload two videos today to uh, Chuchet SMP, and for some reason they ended up on Arcane Fire and Ice. Don't know how the frig that happened, but it did. Friggin' whacked up big time, so. But, uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is, uh, Logie and Skaven go caving, and I just found out how to mute other people in the mumble, so that's a bonus, because there's a lot of people in there where, like, you're talking with the, uh, like, I'll be talking with Logie about stuff, and be like, oh, yeah, check this out, oh, that's pretty cool, blah, 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 then you got some knob who comes on, and he's like, hey, guys, I just found a bucket of water. Like, congratulations, you want a friggin' metal? Shut your mouth, we're doing something here. And before I start recording, I always say, okay, guys, I'm recording. And it's like they, they purposely video bomb the production just to be a dick. It pisses me off. It's like we're trying to make something funny here. And, well, you guys are going to see. I kind of uh, went off on a player in the video there yesterday because he just wouldn't stop talking. But I wasn't keyed up. Like, I wasn't actually uh, mic on to talk over the mumble. It was just over fraps. So... <laughs> I'm, I'm friggin' losing, I'm getting pissed off, eh, like, frig, we're trying to do something here, and Buddy's talking, and I'm like, friggin' shut up! But, uh, yeah, if we do that Survival Island, that's gonna be fun, because literally Castle Awesome Sauce is Survival Island. I went out there with nothing, and I built that, all by myself. Oh! Cosmoprof! Cosmoprof! Teaches you about the cosmos. Hey, did you guys hear about that new Class M planet that NASA found? Apparently they found some new planet identical to Earth that's habitable. Well, they think it's habitable, but they gotta send a probe up, and now NASA's working like hardcore around the clock to build, like, impulse technology so they can friggin' go to space, like, faster, and, you know, all Star Trek-like, and... They want to be able to go to the space station and hang out there and freaking like like zoom across the galaxy and go to this planet and check it out because they think it's a they think it's another Earth. Oh, are you serious, bro? You're not gonna give me green? Oh, I hate these friggin' lights. Is that a cop? No. Any cops? No. Oh, you're not gonna give me any greens, are you, you bastard? <sighs> Looks like we're waiting here for a while, boys. Stupid friggin' dickered lights of dickeredness. Might as well smoke cigarettes. Holy shit, bud, don't speed up when you're behind me. Great big friggin' transport behind me. Holy shit, he scared me. He was like ramping up the speeds. Oh, bro, don't, don't, don't. I'm getting the frig out of that guy's way. Holy shit. Those transports, man, when they come up on you and they're like rolling still because they don't want to stop the transport, because then they got to build up a shit ton of speed to pick it back up again and all that, especially when they're actually carrying a load rather than car carrying um, motorcycle doors, you know what I'm saying? Oh, frig, they just like to roll it, eh? Just so they can just not have to drop her in first gear and bop, 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 bop. Oh, scares the ball bag right off of me. All right, guys, so I got an idea for a video. Because a lot of you said that you get better fuel mileage out of eth uh, out of uh, premium than you do the ethanol gas that they uh, dick us over with here at the gas station. It's going to take me a while to do this video. But basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the car up with the ethanol gas. I'm going to reset my trip meter and see how many kilometers I can go. Yeah, kilometers, I'm Canadian. How many kilometers I can go until the trip meter, or until the fuel tank is sitting at one eighth of a tank. That should be pretty much, pretty close to empty. Or when the low fuel light comes on, either way. And then I'm gonna do the same with the preem gas. Now mainly my driving is mostly just to work and home and to the mall and home and to the reserve and home, you know, to get cigarettes and all that. So it's pretty much uh, consistent every week. And we'll see which one gets more mileage. We'll see if you guys are right on this. You probably are right, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to see and see what it says. Well, I'm almost home, so uh, I guess I'll friggin' check in when I get there and then uh, we'll do it over from there. Peace. All right, about the garage. That was a good drive home, but yeah, like I was saying about that video, the reason why it's going to take me a while is I go through a tank of gas in about two weeks. So I know the ethanol shit, that 10% ethanol shit, takes about two weeks to burn out of my tank with the way I drive. <coughs> and uh, if you do get more mileage out of the premium blend, then it's probably going to take a little bit longer than two weeks. So it could be like friggin' 
sometime into mid-January before I actually get the results back. And uh, I'm going to use the white flip, film it, that way there, because I never use the white flip, so I can use a special camera just for that. And then we'll get an idea if uh, it's true that ethanol, because I know ethanol burns faster and hotter. At least that was what there I was told. And it also has a tendency of dicking over your, your seals and stuff because it, it dries everything out. But uh, we'll see what exactly how it is and well, we'll give her a go. What the hell? We'll, what's there to lose, right? A couple bucks extra when I buy the premium blend. That's about it. But gas has dropped. I just noticed it's down to a buck 20 a liter. So you guys are probably like, holy shit, a buck 20? That's not bad. We're paying like four bucks a, a gallon. Well, guys, remember the conversions here. It's like 3.78 liters to a gallon. We're still getting cocked in the ass like hard. So like we're paying almost five bucks a friggin' gallon over here. And it doesn't make sense because like we're the number two biggest oil reserve in, in the world, I think. Or number three. I know we're somewhere up there. And that's out of the uh, Fort McMurray area there. That's where my buddy works. He's a friggin' heavy diesel mechanic. Pretty funny. He took a picture. He had his buddy take a picture of this Blackberry of him standing beside one of the trucks he worked on. And I'm like, where are you? And he goes, oh, I'm that little speck. The friggin' tire on these things, you need to use a crane to like load them on and stuff. Like they're massive. I'm like, holy shit, that must cost a pretty penny to replace a tire. He said they're about $1,600 a piece for a tire. I'm like, frig sakes. Last thing you want to do is roll over a nail with that thing. <laughs> Just pop the tire. Try putting the tire plug in that, eh? With that little goofy kit you get a crappy tire. Fur friggin' get it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm home now, so bonus on me, bonus on me. And uh, I'm pretty much going to shut her down, guys. I'm going to shut her down. Uh, I'm going to go edit and upload, and I'm probably going to get to bed early tonight because I'm feeling pretty rough because last night I was up to like friggin' 7 o'clock in the morning with Logie on the Minecraft, and it, by the time I actually fell asleep, it was close to 8, and then uh, woke up at 2, so that's like 6 hours of sleep, and that's just not enough. So I need to get some shut-eye tonight, and Logie's already bugging me. Like, he already sent me three texts asking me if I'm crafting, and it's like, come on, bro, let me get some sleep. You know, for sakes, I need to need to crash. Life of a vlogger is a tough life. Anybody out there who wants to start blogging, you know what? I'm telling you, it's a rough life, man. Unless you make short videos, like five minute vlogs, then that's a different story. But if you start daily vlogging and you're aiming for the 20 minute videos, I'm telling you, editing that shit is friggin' hard work. Hard work. But uh, if you want to do it, give her. You know what? I can't stop you. If you want to try it, give her. But uh, not easy work. Not easy work at all. But on that note, guys, I'm going to shut this down. And uh, like I said before there with the videos that we're getting, days 365, I'm going to embarrass the fuck out of myself. And you guys get to watch. And it's going to be bad. You guys are going to make fun of me so hard. But you know what? I don't care because that's the way I roll. You know what? If I can't have fun with, with these videos and and make myself look like a goof and all that, then why make them, right? And that's why I show you guys like the ATV romp when I went up with the ATC and I goofed around and I friggin' I sucked hard at it. It's just the way I am, right? I'm good with computers, but you know, this thing here was really trolling me hard. Yeah, but I, I showed you guys that it was trolling me hard. I showed you my frustration. And uh, wait till I start working on that friggin' thing over there. It's gonna troll me hard too. I'm 100% certain it's gonna troll me hard. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, I don't mind showing you guys how much I suck at mechanics. Well, a lot of you already know, so that's all right. But, uh, okay, now I really got to shut this freaking thing down because I got to go inside. So if you liked today's video, by all means, hit the like button. Let's me know you like the video, and I freaking love it when you like the video because then I like that and stuff. You know how it works. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about today's video, by all freaking means, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. Surprised nobody commented on the fact that I said see you fuckers later yesterday in the vlog, but nobody did. But anyway, until next time. Keep on blogging.